This is the Music History Today podcast for July 26th. On today's show, the Jackson 5 sign, Billy Joel performs, and Beyonce acts. First up, though, on this date in 1960, Hank Ballard and the Midnighters recorded the song Let's Go, Let's Go, Let's Go. In 1968, the Jackson 5 signed a one-year contract with Motown Records. They made the most of that year, going number one on the charts in their first two hits. In 1968, Jeannie C. Riley recorded the hit song Harper Valley PTA. Also in 1968, Decca Records delayed the release of the Rolling Stones' album Beggar's Banquet because the original front cover art was of a toilet with graffiti on it. In 1969, Marilyn McCoo and Billy Davis Jr. of The Fifth Dimension were married. In 1976, Three Dog Night played together for the last time. In 1987, Billy Joel performed in Leningrad, Russia during the Cold War. In 1992, Paul Stanley of KISS married model Pamela Bowen. In 1995, Mick Fleetwood of Fleetwood Mac married his wife, Lynn Frankel. In 2000, a federal judge told Napster that it had two days to stop allowing people to trade copyright songs on its servers. In 2002, the movie Austin Powers and Goldmember premiered, starring Mike Myers and Beyonce, who played Foxy Cleopatra in her first movie role. In 2006, Paul McCartney's first guitar sold at an auction for half a million dollars. Also on that same day, singer and actor David Hasselhoff divorced singer and actress Pamela Bach. In 2008, the group Set It Off was formed. In 2012, the documentary about Sugarman Rodriguez, Searching for Sugarman, premiered in Great Britain. And in 2018, Paul McCartney performed at the new location of Liverpool's Cavern Club. The original location, of course, was where the Beatles made their name. In classical music, in 1882, Richard Wagner premiered his opera Parsifal. In theater, in 1973, the musical Equius premiered in London, England. In 1992, the revival of the musical Man of La Mancha closed on Broadway. And in 2018, the musical based on the Go-Go song catalog Head Over Heels premiered on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on July 26th, in 1970, Jimi Hendrix was given an honorary high school diploma from Garfield High School in Seattle, Washington, where he went to high school but never graduated from. Albums that were released on July 26 include in 1965 when Buck Owens released Before You Go. In 1968, the Moody Blues released In Search of the Lost Chord. In 1973, ZZ Top released Tres Hombres. In 1974, Robert Wyatt released Rock Bottom. In 1979, The Clash released their self-titled album. In 1981, Bucks Fizz released their self-titled album. In 1982, The Human League released the EP Love and Dancing. In 1983, Asia released Alpha. In 1985, John Waite released Mask of Smiles. In 1989, Katrina and the Waves released Break of Hearts. In 1993, Odetta Adams released Evolution. In 1994, Annie DeFranco released Out of Range. And in 1996, The Aquabats released The Return of the Aquabats. Singles that were released in the UK on July 26 include in 1974 when the Rolling Stones released It's Only Rock and Roll But I Like It. Meanwhile in America, in 1960, Sam Cooke released Chain Gang. In 1963, The Miracles released Mickey's Monkey. In 1965, Martha and the Vandellas released You've Been in Love Too Long. In 1966, Marvin Gaye released Little Darling I Need You. In 1967, The Kinks released Waterloo Sunset. In 1969, Johnny Cash released A Boy Named Sue. In 1979, The Clash did a twofer. They released Gates of the West and I Fought the Law. In 1982, Pink Floyd released When the Tigers Broke Free. And in 1985, The Thompson Twins released Lay Your Hands on Me. Before we continue, we'd like to tell you about the Music History In-Depth podcast, where we go in-depth on the history of some of the events from the daily version of the Music History Today podcast. The Music History In-Depth podcast drops new episodes every Tuesday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. 
We also have the Music Halls of Fame podcast, where we honor a year in music along with a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, along with who we think should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Plus, we honor a different museum, Walk of Fame, or Hall of Fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to the Music History Today podcast. Artists who were born on July 26th include the legendary Mr. Mick Jagger of the Rolling Stones, rapper Stormzy, singer and actress Taylor Momsen, Jim Lindbergh of Pennywise, singer Gary Sharon of Extreme, and also for one album at least, Van Halen. Singer Darlene Love, singer Dobie Gray, drummer Roger Taylor of the group Queen, Andy Connell of Swing Out Sister, Andrew Timmons of Danger Danger, Dan Konopka of OK Go, Dave Baksh of Sum 41, Headliner Barnwell of Arrested Development, Duncan McKay of 10CC, singer Brenton Wood, singer Neil Landon of Flower Pot Men, and also Fat Mattress. Singer Bobby Hebb, big band leader Erskine Hawkins, entertainer Danny LaRue, singer Betty Davis, not the actress Betty Davis, Al Anderson of NRBQ, singer Carson Luders, Jackson family manager Joe Jackson, rapper K. Sue, singer Alex Hoyer, Al Banks of the Turbans, folk music guitarist with the Hot Vultures and also the founder of Rogue Records, Ian A. Anderson, singer Kalimba of OV7, singer and actress Andrea True, composer and saxophonist Moesir Santos, band leader and pianist Fred Bowler, and pianist and the first composer of Nocturnes, John Field. Artists who unfortunately passed away on July 26 include composer Michael Frank, who passed away in 1667 at the age of 58. Composer Johann George Christian Storl passed away in 1719 at the age of 43. Composer Michael Shevenstol passed away in 1770 at the age of 65. Composer Daniel Dal Barba passed away in 1801 at the age of 86. Composer Friedrich Wilhelm Weiss passed away in 1826 at the age of 82. Composer Michel Carafa passed away in 1872 at the age of 84. Composer Carlos Troyer passed away in 1920 at the age of 83. Organist and composer Miguel Bernal Jimenez passed away from heart issues in 1956 at the age of 46. Pianist and composer Gina Branscombe passed away in 1977 at the age of 95. Composer Hans Otto Borgman passed away in 1977 at the age of 75. Composer Donald Libert passed away in 1981 at the age of 58. Pianist Joe Liggins of the group The Honey Drippers passed away in 1987 at the age of 71. Keyboardist Brent Midland of The Grateful Dead passed away from a drug overdose in 1990 at the age of 38. Singer Mary Wells passed away from cancer in 1992 at the age of 49. Guitarist and bossa nova composer Lorindo Almeida passed away in 1995 at the age of 77. Composer Evelyn Levine passed away in 1996 at the age of 94. Chico from Sha Na Na passed away in 1998 at the age of 50. Jazz great Sifo Gumid passed away from cancer in 2004 at the age of 52. Record producer Ben Keith passed away in 2010 at the age of 73. Saxophonist Frank Foster passed away in 2011 at the age of 83. Guitarist J.J. Kale passed away in 2013 at the age of 74. Violinist Paul Angerer passed away in 2017 at the age of 90. Drummer Joey Jordison of the group Slipknot passed away in 2021 at the age of 46. Randy Meisner of the Eagles from 1971 to 1977 passed away in 2023 at the age of 77. And singer and rebel Sinead O'Connor passed away in 2023 at the age of 56 
We discuss more about her career and her death on this week's Music History In-Depth podcast, which has already dropped on this network by the time you're hearing this. Please like and subscribe. This week's episode is a really, really good one. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is July 27th, when in 1983, Madonna released her debut album, and in 1984, Purple Rain, the motion picture, gets released in movie theaters. Thank you very, very much for listening, if you're listening on the podcast, or if you're watching this on YouTube or Spotify video. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this podcast. And if you like this podcast and you want more of our podcasts, then I invite you to check out our Music Halls of Fame podcast in either audio or video form. It drops every single Thursday. You can listen to the audio version of this podcast on Apple, Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, wherever you get your podcast from, all under Music History Today. You can also watch the video version of this podcast on either YouTube or Spotify Video, also under Music History Today. Our Facebook page is Music History Today. Our website is jameritaniamedia.com. And our Twitter is twitter.com backslash Music History Day. Thank you very, very much for listening or watching. <laughs>